Hello guys, and in today's video, I will be testing out Hitman Pro Alert. I don't actually have it installed yet, so I guess we're going to go download it. But as you can see, same ransomware from the Malwarebytes video. We ha In this folder, we have Petia, Satana, and TeslaCrypt, same files. But this time, we're going to start from the least destructive to the most destructive, just so it kind of has a bit of, bit of um, we can run a bit more, most likely. So, um, let's actually go look at some news of this program. Okay, um, it's, um, basically to stop threats before they emerge and aims to protect your vulnerable, vulnerable software, data, and identity against, um, current and future attacks. So, basically, as you can see, it says the features down here. We got vaccination, keystroke encryption, so, like, Blocks keyloggers, I guess. Bad USB protection, like auto run, I guess. Um, webcam notifier, which I don't really know, which is if I don't really think that's a huge deal, but I guess if you want it to be. We have a network lockdown, <coughs> uh, process protection, crypto guard, um, exploit my mitigations, malware, rem, ed. I don't know. Application lockdown and safe browsing. Now, I guess this is supposed to block files. Um, like, ransomware. So, let's actually go ahead and download it. Okay, if we actually check out the file size, you can see that it is, um, about 4,800 bytes. So, about 4.8, um, megabytes. So, definitely quite small. Um, this is an installer, so I guess let's run it. Okay, I'm not gonna perform a malware scan. Okay, there, and it's preparing for the f first use. And here we go. You are protected against cyber attacks. So, I guess we're protected, that's what Hitman Pro Alert says. Now, I'm guessing this will do a lot better than Malwarebytes did. So, um, let's just move this over, make sure that shared folders is unread-only or disabled. It's disabled. So, I guess, let's, I guess let's just go in a ransomware folder, and we'll start running some ransomware. Let's actually run TeslaCrypt first. Attack intercepted. TeslaCrypt.exe has been terminated due to malware prevention execution of malicious, malicious code. Please check your computer for malware and software updates. So, I guess let's just scan with Hitman Pro. This is going to be the only time I'm going to scan with Hitman Pro. Actually, it's downloading. I don't want to download it. I already have it anyway. It appears that Hitman Pro Alert isn't responding. I really don't know why. This was one of the issues I had with it not responding all the time. Did that end? I know it's still running. So that one was blocked. I'm going to do a scan at the end. Just because I don't want to have to run a ton of scans. Now let's try Satana. Okay. Um, it's trying to run some weird file. Now I'm guessing this is not going to be blocked. It might block. Oh yeah it is. Wow. That's quite. Holy crap. God. That was crunchy. I don't know. Anyway, it's been stopped. Same. I'm not going to scan. It's just stopped it anyway. I'll scan at the end. It automatically deleted this. Well, oh no, Satan deleted itself. I get it. Okay, anyway, let's try the last one. Can it get a clean sheet? Petia. Come on, block Petia. This is like one of the. This is probably worse than Satana. Oh, so bad. The audio is so laggy. Can it block it? Please block it, Hitman Pro Alert. Okay, it's awesome. Let's just close this out and make sure nothing's running in Task Manager. Um, it appears that it's still running. So is Petio. Um, that's kind of surprising. Not really sure if that's going to do anything. Um, Petio, by now, would have probably done something. Usually, it only takes a f few seconds. Let's just give it a bit more. Petia, um, ended itself, I guess, or 
it was ended, I'm not quite sure, but this GPP Lin J J G God. Yeah, anyway, well, this is still running, but I'm um assuming the system's clean. It, it said it detected it, so it would be unfair to keep it running. So anyway, let's just do a scan with Hitman Pro now and see how good it did. Well, it, it, it's funny how we we tested out a Hitman Pro alert and now we're doing a scan with Hitman Pro. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to do any scans with Malwarebytes just because I don't think there's really any point because we it already popped up saying that the attacks were intercepted so they were blocked. Um, so anyway guys, I'll be back once the scan has completed. Okay guys, um, I'm back. Scan is completed. It found something on the desktop, so just ignore that. But it found something in temp, so let's actually go to the temp folder. Now, I'm not gonna get, say it did bad, as you can see it's here, and it created a top. Oh god. Holy shit. Did it actually encrypt my, any of my files? Okay, no, they're fine. Hopefully it didn't encrypt the master boot record either. I'll actually reboot after this. But anyway, unless it actually encrypted the master boot record, which I doubt. But if it didn't, I think that Hitman Pro Alert did an awesome job. Well, yeah, you're probably like, well, it detected this, which isn't good. I know, but Hitman Pro Alert popped up with, remember, it popped up with this alert. And it blocked it. And if I would have abated right there, it would have automatically detected this. So, the normal user would have clicked on Scam with Hitman Pro. So, I cannot get mad at it for that. So, um, what what is my final verdict? Let me just reboot the system. See what happens. So, so far, what is my final verdict on Hitman Pro Alert? I think that it did a pretty good job, I gotta say that. It blocked those three. I was, I was kind of, um, I kind of already knew that it was going to block, um, Tesla Crypt. Because it's quite old. I'm not, I wasn't really sure it was going to block Petia or anything. So, um, anyway, let's just make sure it didn't actually encrypt the master boot record, which would really suck. And it didn't. So... I think that Hitman Pro Alert did a very good job in today's test. Would I recommend it? Um, if yeah, I would probably recommend it. Um, I don't see why not. It doesn't seem to really slow down the system. That was just because the ransomware plus Hitman Pro Alert were, was um, conflicting of each other, which isn't necessarily bad. So um, yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching today's video. Um, remember to subscribe, like the video, and comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day or night. It's kind of getting late over here. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.